Broadway.com. This is Laura Osnes. And Max Crum. And we have six performances left of Grease on Broadway. That's right. So uh, what better way to go out than to answer questions from me, you know, Broadway.com. Huh? All right. All right. So I could do me. Hey, Laura. What Broadway star were you most excited to meet this year and why? I have to say I was most excited to meet Sutton Foster. I know um, you Yeah, I think everyone knows I was going to say that. She's... Of course, I look up to her so much. She's so awesome. And mm -hmm. um, I did get to meet her three times. In fact, we ran into each other on the street once, and she took out her headphones to give me a hug. And that was pretty cool. All right. What's my question? Oh, Do we both answer these? Laura Bell Bundy. Uh, I knew you were going to say that. <laughs> okay. What was the biggest mishap or wardrobe malfunction that's ever happened on stage? Well... This isn't really one of my things, but let's say that in the last dance break, uh, Laura and I were doing our, you know, crazy little leg stuff that she does, and when she went back for her dip, her wig didn't come back with her, so she had a big bald cap, big yep. finale, sexy Sandy, but <laughs> she wasn't looking too sexy. No. So, you know, I, I, got, I put my jacket like this, and I got in front of her, and I was like, put on your wig! So, you know, the whole audience got a great big laugh out of that. That was yeah. a lot of fun, because, you know, it was like, welcome to Broadway. <laughs> All right. Okay. So, what was your favorite moment in the show, hands down? What would you say? Hmm. My favorite moment. I love you're the one that I want, like at the end, because that's the part where I get to kind of like go crazy. But I think my favorite moment is when Sandy changes in Jan's basement. She hangs up the phone and does the yeah. hold your head high, take a deep breath, and cry. That moment. Um, yeah. It's a pretty big moment for it's Laura. Uh, what was the hardest thing about doing this show? Working with Kathleen Marshall. No, I'm just kidding. Oh. I'm totally kidding. Uh, the hardest thing about doing this show was Kathleen. I'm kidding, obviously. But uh, I think the hardest thing was the the whole year, like doing the the whole run of it. That was the hardest thing, is mentally just uh, going from not doing anything or really preparing for Broadway, just having, I guess, the TV show prepare me for this, but really just kind of... The routine. The routine, and I've never had such a set routine, and that, that for me was uh, the hardest thing, and being so far away from my home, which is California, and... Uh, I get that. <laughs> yeah. um, my turn. No, no. Your turn for me. <clears throat> what is your dream role to play next, and why? My dream role to play next? Well, I have a couple things in the works, which is kind of exciting, but I won't go into that. But I've had um, a lot of people say that I'd be a good little mermaid. Watch out, Sierra. Don't watch out, Sierra. You're lovely and No, watch beautiful. out. Watch out. No, um, I'm just kidding. Really don't watch out. But, so I don't know. That would be fun. I would love, mm -hmm. I would love to do a Disney something. Everyone tells me I have a Disney voice, so I hope Beauty and the Beast comes back and I can play Belle, too. Mm -hmm. Comes back, huh? Hey. Hey. Well, I, for, I forgot if it's off. Uh, it's gone, yeah. Um, okay, what's the coolest thing that happened to you while being in Greece? Uh, the coolest thing that's happened to me. It's almost over. We're almost done. I know, that's nuts. Uh, the coolest thing that's happened, I don't know. I think I'll be able to answer that question in like a year or two. You know what I mean? Yeah. Because right now it's like way too much. Like, who, who are we? <laughs> that's what I feel it's, like. Yeah, I think in a I year we'll settle in and we'll be able to... So, it's still, but I guess crazy. would say my favorite thing is I'm going to take away uh, knowing Laura. Oh. Laura, right here, you are you are one of my best friends now. Thanks, Come here. Cute. Right there, that's the best thing. Oh. All right. What, was okay. that my question or yours? I don't know. Okay, my question, oh, don't get sad. Okay, <laughs> what surprised you most about being on Broadway? Um, what surprised me most? Hmm, I don't know. Oh, I think the press, I guess, yeah. stuff like that, that was like, oh, I didn't know we'd be doing photo shoots and interviews for Broadway.com and taking pictures with famous people that come to the show. Like, mm -hmm. doing all that stuff, I was expecting to just, like, come and get to do what I love to do. And there was right. 
all this extra publicity stuff that went on with it. That was great. Yeah, but that's definitely. I think that was a surprise. Tell me about your favorite encounter with a fan. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, I have lots of awesome, good encounters with fans, but let's see, one of my favorite encounters. Um, I would say Marjorie is a cool <laughs> fan of mine. She comes to a lot of cool stuff, and I really I really enjoy how nice she is. And she's genuinely, uh, she's this really cool lady, and she's generally really nice to me, always sends me really nice letters. So thanks, That's nice. Marjorie. That's very nice of you. Awesome. Uh, okay, what's the trick to playing? the same part for a year. Hmm. What is the trick? <laughs> is I don't think there is like one magical answer to that question. Um, but I think it's really important to have fun with the people that you're with. It matters so much that you're enjoying what you're doing and that you're feeding off the people around you and um, yep. that you can do it eight times a week because it is hard. But also I would awesome. say the trick is like not even realizing the incredible work ethic we have because we enjoy it so much. Yeah. I think you should be having so much yeah. fun. Grease is such an awesome show to do eight times a week because we just get to party. Mm -hmm. So that's the trick, being Grease. Wait. Okay, I actually, I have to get my hair done right now because we have a show in like an hour. And I was running late. Sorry, Brad, right now, go. <laughs> so. Switch! Hey, this is Jack Curtin. <laughs> Hi. He's awesome. He does my hair. Um, so I'm just going to start getting my pink curls done. Just don't mind it. But he's not here. He's not here. All right. Uh, Max, what will you miss the most about being in Greece? <laughs> <laughs> uh, what will I miss the most? Besides me. Just uh, let's see. Let's see. What will I miss the most? I think my family away from home. You know, this really became such a family. And, you know, I hear, I, I don't know, I haven't, you know, done this before, but I hear that it's rare for Broadway companies to stay as long as ours has stayed together and, you know, be as close <laughs> as ours <laughs> is. Uh, but that's it. Yeah, I really am going to miss it because, you know, I'm going home to Los Angeles and uh, it'll be weird. Yeah. It'll be weird to <laughs> not see you guys every day. Aww. See you getting your hair done like this. I come in every day and watch you get your hair done like this. <laughs> All right. Oh, okay. Laura. What advice would you give Ashley Spencer, who is playing oh. Sandy next? I'm, uh, hmm. Ashley, have fun and um, sing from your heart and just enjoy it. And I hope you guys just, you're going to rock it. I'm so excited for you guys. And the most important thing is to have fun and just enjoy what you're doing. And yeah. don't worry too much about what people think and just go do your thing. Oh, rock yeah. it. You are Sandy. Okay. You are. You are. Okay. And what advice would you give Derek Keeling taking over for Danny? I mean, Derek, good luck. Because, <laughs> no. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. Have fun. Do what you've been doing, man. You are you are Danny Zuko. You've been Danny Zuko for, like, how long? <laughs> so, like, rock it out, man. You know? Welcome to Broadway. Yes! Uh, oh, but advice. Rock it out. That was my advice. Awesome. All right. So my what's last your question. Wait, it's my turn. No, it is. You asked me about there. Okay. <clears throat> Laura, what's your favorite thing about Max Crumb? <laughs> <laughs> um, gosh, there's a lot. There's a lot of things. Yeah. We've gone through so much together, Max. I know. It's been awesome. Um, let's see. I love that you make me laugh. I love that you keep a smile on my face, and that we can have so much fun together, goofing mm. around. You're such a good dance partner and scene partner and actor and singer. Yeah, but your favorite. No, I'm just kidding. Oh, my favorite thing. I have to no. pick one thing. No. And no, um, no, 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 no. I like your bushy eyebrows that I pluck once a week. See that? Some <laughs> actors are actors. I'm an eyebrow actor. No, I'm just <laughs> Don't put any of this other stuff I say in there. Don't put this in there. This would be terrible. Everybody's going to be like, who the hell is this kid? <laughs> okay. Um. No, that's it. My favorite, now ask me my Okay, question. and what's you, your favorite thing about Laura Osnes? Well, my favorite thing about Laura Osnes uh, would have to be that I got, the, my favorite thing is that I got to know you. Like, I got to meet you before you, like, are going to become this huge Broadway star. And um, I don't know, you're so kind. And uh, really, people couldn't have picked, like, a more opposite people to put together. You know yeah. what I mean? I've learned so much from you. Me and uh, you're just your grace and your... Uh, 
everything about you is like fantastic, you know? Friends for life. We're old war buddies. So We are. We've already talked about how when I'm 80 years old, I'm going to call Max back. So Max, what are you doing today? We're going to strike up a tour of Greece. <laughs> They're going to call us back. Are you back. broke? <laughs> <laughs> Hey you guys, thanks so much for watching. Thank you for uh, this incredible year. It's meant the world to us and uh, Absolutely. you know, we're sad that it's over. Yeah, thanks for coming to see the show, for all your support. We couldn't have done it without you and uh, we'll see you guys soon. Totally. Here's to what's next, see you guys.